Uh, the southern hemisphere Norse pagan calendar is here. Very, very important. A lot of you following are in South America, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and you've been interested in getting the dates right and requested uh, that I do one for the southern hemisphere. So there it is up on the website now, just in time because your new year is starting next week on the full moon. Um, I'm not able to make a flag like this that you see behind me because the minimums to get those done are uh, quite high. I wasn't sure how many people are going to uh, buy them uh, but if, there, if enough of you get the digital download at least a hundred I will be able to meet the minimums and next year I will be able to get you guys a flag exactly like this if enough of you want it but for now just the digital download uh, is available and you could always take it to your print shop and print out a big poster with that um, file as well um, and put it on your wall if you like so so I'm going to walk you through the Southern Hemisphere calendar a little bit because it's a bit more complicated than just flipping the Northern Hemisphere one upside down. Um, so all the holidays that you see here are from the sources that we have. I did a full video about all those days and I'm uh, that are marked off here and I explained why we put them there and what all the uh, sources and explaining them what we have on that. Go see that uh, video here for the full breakdown and this video here I'm just going over the changes uh, that uh, uh, we made to uh, make the southern hemisphere uh, fit with the solar and lunar cycles. So first one, very easy, the solar holidays. Uh, that's just a matter of switching the solstices and equinoxes, really easy. Um, your southern hemisphere winter solstice is going to be on our northern hemisphere summer solstice. The equinoxes are switched, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, the red marked holidays are the lunar based holidays, uh, the Bluts specifically, the sacrifices, and these are all based around the solar cycles too, and the full moons around those. The first one is Vetternatter, uh, coming in just a week or two, winter nights, which would be the start of winter, and then when the new year starts according to the Norse sources. So this is your new year's and the start of winter, and at the same time in the northern hemisphere, it's the start of our summer, the Siegeblut. Uh, so this is the time to party up, have fun, uh, directions to the historical celebration is all listed there. Next one is Yule, uh, which should be the first full moon after the new moon after the winter solstice. So for you guys down south, uh, that will be on the 21st of July. Uh, Disa Blut, that is to be two full moons after that, on the 19th of September. Siege Blut, which would be the uh, our Vetternatter, the start of our winter in the northern hemisphere, but for you guys in the south, it's the start of your summer, the Blut to victory, and that will be on October 17th, full moon. And finally, this is a bit of a weird one. It was definitely um, uh, not done widely in the Viking Age, but we do have a couple sources about it being done. The blut that would be done before the harvest season, for, so for you guys in the Southern Hemisphere, that would be March uh, 13th, 2025. So that is the solar and lunar holidays uh, that are pretty easy to follow. The remaining holidays in blue, they're a bit more difficult and those can be debated. So I kept those kept most of them the same day as we celebrate in the northern hemisphere even though you know if the vikings settled in the southern hemisphere a thousand years ago they may have altered these dates and we don't even know by the way these blue ones we don't even know 100 percent that they celebrated these these are from the uh later on folk tradition that we have sources on those but they do have clear pagan elements so advent that's almost certainly a pagan original holiday, but as far as we know, it is, has been related to Christmas as far as we have records going back, so this will be on the 1st of December, just as we celebrate in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, we have Valpurgisnacht, um, that's the festival welcoming the spring, really, uh, but I know there is German and Dutch communities in South America or South Africa who celebrate this traditionally at the same time as we do in the north, so I kept that the same. I left it on the same day as we celebrate uh, Valpurgisnacht um, uh, in the northern hemisphere, April 30th to May 1st, and that's a hell of a party too, and coming up in a few weeks. Same thing with Pinsa, 
or um, uh, Skuklafals Dagir, technically it should be celebrated at the end of spring when you take the plows off the horses. That's exactly what Skuklafal uh, means. Uh, however, it is connected to Pinsa a lot, and we have reason to believe that they were one and the same holiday um, uh, going back uh, uh, long before Christian times, before they called it Pinsa or Pentecost. But... I do know that there are Scandinavian communities in Australia and New Zealand who do celebrate Pinsa um, at the same day as we do in the north, so I left uh, that at the same day we celebrate it as well. A final debatable one would be uh, Helhester Fastelon. That is a big party and pigging out on food, getting stuffed. Um, uh, at the new moon after Yul, and that um, uh, is eating the last feasts and parties before the late winter fasting, so I put that one on August 4th. However, this is 100% in parallel to Fasching or Carna Carnival that are celebrated in February, and I know there are German communities that celebrate Fasching in the South America, and of course Carnival is celebrated in South America, so that's completely up to you whether you want to celebrate it at that time with them or not, if you want to do it on the date that I put here. But that's about it. Um, the final thing about the months that you're going to see around... Um, I put you guys in the Southern Hemisphere on the exact same month scale as we are following in the Northern Hemisphere. Most of it, it doesn't really matter uh, as far as the month names go, but definitely a few of them are messed up, and you can clearly tell that. Uh, for example, Sun Month uh, is going to be in the middle of your winter, so that doesn't fit there really. So I definitely uh, could have flipped the months upside down too, just like I did with the rest of the calendar, but I did decide to keep us all on the same months for this calendar at least, just so there is, so there is some synchronous with our people if we have pagan friends in the northern and southern hemispheres it's a bit easier to speak to each other about uh, plans and things like that um, at, at certain times of year so i kept that the same but let me know if you guys don't like it and would rather me flip the months uh, uh, as well and i can make that change uh, next year uh, one more thing I set the dates around the full moons to the time where the full moon is going to be in North and South America time, but please, 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 please check exactly what time of day the full moon is going to be exactly where you live, because that is going to be different for all of you, and if you are going to do a sacrifice, please do not, do not do it after the moon has become full and it's begun to wane. It's better to do no brut at all than to do it too late. I've heard countless catastrophic results and experienced this myself, okay? So uh, check the full moon times is the most important thing if you're going to do any sacrifices like that. Uh, but that's all for today. I did a little video about that on the Patreon as well, but hope you enjoyed. That calendar is on the website now, ready to go. But that's all for today. Have you say